everyone, welcome to the first video in the series wherein our mission is to mint our NFT using ERC721 token standard on the Polygon test network. So as you have seen in the previous video, we minted our NFT directly on OpenSea because there we were using OpenSea smart contract and we didn't have to write anything. But it could be a bit risky because our NFT will always abide by the rules written in OpenSea smart contract. So why not write our own smart contract wherein we can state different conditions so that our NFT can always abide by the rules written in our smart contract. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let me give you a brief of how we are going to do it. So this series is going to contain five different parts. So today in the first video, we are going to download all the dependencies and the software that are required to ultimately mint our NFT. In the second video in the series, we are going to write our smart contract in Solidity using ERC721 token standard. Then in the third video, uh, we are going to deploy and test our smart contract using Ganache. What is Ganache that I will talk about later in this video. Then in the fourth part of the series, we are going to deploy the smart contract to the Polygon test network. And then in the last but not the least video, we are going to configure the metadata for our NFT using IPFS and we'll actually mint our NFT and we are going to see our NFT listed on OpenSea. So this is how the flow will look like. Now, if we talk about the tools or the software that we are going to download, so uh, we majorly need Node.js. Uh, uh, editor so in this case we are going to use visual studio code and also two more things one is truffle and the other is ganache so if you have not heard of truffle and ganache before so let me just give you a brief of what these tools are so as you can see here truffle is basically a development environment so in this uh, development environment we get a lot of different things to test our smart contract to deploy our smart contract and many other features so there is another thing that uh, we are going to download and that is Ganache. So Ganache is going to serve as our personal blockchain. So before actually deploying anything to any of the network that are available, that is any of the blockchain, we are going to first test it on our personal blockchain that exists on our local system. And that's where Ganache comes into play. So Ganache is going to serve as our local blockchain. Now let's download all the things that are required one by one. So the first thing that we need to download is MetaMask. So what is MetaMask? MetaMask is basically a wallet. Uh, so whenever we want to send any transaction to the network, we need an account. With the MetaMask extension, we can create our own account. And whenever we try to send any transaction to the network, with the help of MetaMask, with the help of a wallet, it signs the transaction and then sends it to the network. So let's download it. So you just need to open this link. I'll provide this link in the in the description box. So I will just add it to the Chrome and add extension. So here I can see there is an extension called MetaMask. I will pin it so that I can see it here. And now I will do all the settings that are required. Yeah. I'll click on get started. So if you already have a MetaMask wallet, you can just import it, but I want to create a new one. So I'm clicking on create a wallet, I'm agreeing to it, setting up password, and just remember that you need to ensure that you remember your password well. It is created, and yeah, this is very important. What this secret recovery phase is going to do is, it's acting as a private key. So whenever we sign a transaction, how blockchain is going to uh, validate if that is done by an authentic person. So that is done by your private key of your account. So here uh, MetaMask provide, like calls this private key as a mnemonic. So when you will uh, click on this, click here to reveal secret words, it will show you your private key in the form of mnemonic. So you need not share this private key with anyone. Okay, so I have set up my mnemonic and you need to save this mnemonic somewhere because we are going to later use it in our uh, videos. So please do save it somewhere and I'll click on all done. Yes. So it has already created an account for me and I don't have any Ethereum for now. So since we are going to deploy it on a Polygon test network, so if you can see here, there are uh, there is just one network that is Ethereum mainnet. So I can simply add 
a my polygon test network to it so what configuration you are going to use here so if you go to polygon this configuration is given here you can just copy all those things and put it in your settings yes save so as you can see here even if i close it i can see that in my if i open this metamask i have my polygon test network listed here but if you know that in order to uh, send any transaction on the blockchain we need some amount of money so this amount of money is in the form of matic for polygon test network so how can i add some matic to my wallet so since i am going to do it for just for fun and i do not want to spend any money so i can just get some matic from the faucet so for doing that i will copy my public address of this account i will go to this link of faucet copy my wallet address submit and in some time what you will see is yeah request submitted so in some time i will be shown some matic in my account yes it's done so now i have 0.5 matic and this is enough in order to even mint my nft to the test network so we are good with it uh, okay so the next thing that we need to install is Node.js. So if you do not have Node.js in your system, then you can just download it as per your system requirement. The another thing that you need to download is Visual Studio Code. You can use any other editor if you want, uh, but for now I'll be using Visual Studio Code. This you can download as well. The last thing that we need to download is Ganache. So we can also use Ganache CLI that is provided by Truffle. That that's what it uses under the hood but i just want to see everything very clearly so once you download it i can show you how it looks like so if you download it then it looks something like this yeah so here we have 10 accounts 10 open accounts and they all have a balance of 100 ETH. so it's basically a personal blockchain or testing blockchain and uh, here everything is done automatically like there is auto mining feature that is attached to it so that's why i just wanted to see how that balance reduces how the transaction looks like so that's why i wanted you to download this okay so that that's all about it that's all about the things that we need to download the rest of the thing we will download on the go so you need not worry about it so now let's uh, jump on to creating our project folder okay so now i'm on my terminal i'm going to make the project folder so i'm going to make this uh folder in my documents folder so i'm going to make this directory i'll call it mint nft and i will go to this directory now uh, let's also open this folder via visual studio code so you can see what all is happening whenever we are running those commands okay i'll open this yeah so as you can see here this mint nft folder is completely empty we don't have anything so i will just initialize this folder yeah like as you can see here it has added this package.json file which will list down all the dependencies that i have right now in my project and uh, as we can see here as well there is this package.json file that is created and it has the name version etc etc okay so we are good here now the next thing that we need to install is truffle so for installing truffle you can simply use the command npm install truffle yes Okay, so it took some time, but it's finally installed. So we have now Truffle. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a template of Truffle in our project folder, npx truffle init. So what it's basically going to do is it's going to make all the folders that we are going to require to our respective folder that we have. So let's see what all gets created here. So when we do this, we have a contract folder, we have a migration folder, we have a test folder. And additionally, we have one more file. If you see here, truffleconfig.js. So this file is basically used to specify all the setup for our project, wherein we'll specify the network we are uh, trying to connect to, etc, etc. We'll uh, have a look at it uh, in a few minutes. But before that, I just want to keep my folder more organized. So I'm going to create two new folders in my current project folder and I'm going to call them scripts and I'm going to also create a folder called data. 
wherein I'll keep the metadata for my NFT. Don't worry if you're not getting everything, we'll try to learn it on the go. There are some additional settings that we need to do in our Truffle config file. Uh, so I will go to my Truffle config file and here as you can see in the networks, everything is commented, but I want my development environment to be there. So I'll uncomment this part. I'll just check if everything is matching with my ganache. Uh, host is 127.0.0.1, yes. Port is 7545, but here it's 8545, so I'll change it to 7545. Network ID, you can also specify, uh, it's not mandatory, so I'll leave it. So I will save this. So we are only left with one last thing, and that is uh, connect connecting our project folder to Ganache, that is our personal blockchain. So for doing that, I will create a new workspace and I will call it uh, Mint NFT as my project folder. You can name it anything. So why I'm creating a workspace is basically because if you do not create a workspace, every time if you close Ganache and open it again, you will see all the transaction details and the contract detail will get refreshed. So we do not want to do that. So that's why I am creating a workspace for my project folder. Then you need to add the project. So for adding the project, you just need to add your truffle config file to it. Yeah, that's it. And I'll save the workspace and here it is. So here my workspace is also created. So guys, this is all for this video. We are finally done with our basic installations and the setup that we need to do. In the next video, we will head on to writing our smart contract. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.